Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry, excuse my teddy bear sat here. This is Catty. Catty says hi. That's really weird. Why did I just start off my video like that? Um, I'm in a good mood because I just got a knock on my door and I had some flowers delivered by my boyfriend, which was really sweet and really thoughtful and it's just made me really happy. So I'm gonna be in a good mood for this video. By the way, guys, I'm hoping that you can notice a huge difference in the quality because I am not only filming on my camera, but I'm also editing on my computer, which means that the quality should be top notch, fingers crossed. Anyways, today I'm going to be trying on I can't remember. I can't remember what's in here. I'm pretty sure that this was going to be a cheap, cheap random finds on Pretty Little Thing. Um, so I'm going to open it up. Let me just move everything out of my bed so that we have a clean space to work with. Um, so I'm going to open everything up and see. I'm pretty sure it is just like really cheap stuff. Pretty Little Thing have a sale on at the moment on their website so it's like 70% off I look crazy as always um it's like 70% off on the website at the moment which is really really good bargains obviously pretty little thing always have good stuff in the sales section um if you ever did need like just some cheap going out clothes or whatever but huge sale at the moment so I thought what I'll do is I'll just get everything and try it on it is really random so we have skirts we have dresses we have tops we have everything going on. So, have I ordered the same thing twice? No, I haven't. These, are just, these look really similar in the packet, but they're not the same thing. Anyways, we are going to start. I'm going to get started straight away. Um, so, the first thing that I want to show you guys is called the Camel roll neck sleeveless mini dress in a size small so i am currently pregnant so this might be the wrong sizing for me but i'm at that awkward stage where it's like i'm pregnant but i'm not pregnant pregnant like i'm not i'm four four and a half months pregnant on friday it's tuesday today um i just realized i was just filming a vlog saying it was monday the whole time it's not monday it's tuesday um so yeah i'm nearly four and a half months pregnant so the bump is like starting to show so this might be a little bit big anyways this looks really nice for like a transitioning into autumn dress like just first of all the color wow that is really nice i think everything in this order was under five pounds i think that this could have even been like three pounds um first of all the color is so gorgeous wow Wowzeroza. Um, it's in like this really nice rib colour. It has a roll neck. And I just feel like this is going to look so, so flattering. And I feel like when I do transition into the autumn season, then I am going to be wearing like dresses like this. Because I remember last time when I was pregnant, I found it really, really awkward to wear anything other than if I wasn't wearing like leggings and a big baggy jumper or big baggy top. I would have to wear like dresses and stuff to look nice like with tights and boots because it's just awkward having that bump like not really knowing what to wear um I'm, I'm i want to like spice up my outfits this time around because i didn't really wear any nice outfits it was in lockdown before so anyways let's pop this dress on and see what we think I am really, really pleasantly surprised with the dress. I am going to stand over in the corner so that you guys can see it a little bit clearly, but I'm just going to do a close-up. So this is what the dress looks like. I love the colour. I love the shape. I love the roll neck. Obviously not for the summer, um, but where it is going to get a little bit colder, this is lovely. I just... I, look, the bump is like that awkward bump stage. Um, it's a decent length. It's a nice length. Um, and yeah, I feel like I would wear this out to a meal. Um, I could dress it down with some, I don't know, like tight uh, flat boots or you can dress it up. I just feel like this is really, really nice dress and I'm just gonna stand up over there so that you guys can see it in all of its glory. Right, is that, is that a good angle or not? I feel like it is. Um, look how stunning this dress is just the the shape of it i love the like that there's no shoulders i feel like it's really really sexy 
and I feel like this is going to look so nice with the growing bump. I love it. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. This dress is a big fat yes from me. I am best pleased. I'm very, very happy. And yeah, I feel like I'm going to get so much wear out of this in the winter. I didn't actually expect um, to be keeping anything from this. But like when I do my cheap hauls, I don't think that I'm going to be keeping much. Because obviously some of the stuff is really, really cheap. Um, and just not... Not the best. Um, yeah, this is this is very nice. So I'm very happy. By the way, guys, I do apologise about my hair. I'm, there's just not much I can do about it at the moment. Like my hair is isn't my best part of me at this very moment in time. I am. Um, we're not going to talk about it. Anyway, so moving on. Let's try on the dress that looks a bit similar. So this is called the one shoulder waist cut out ruched bodycon dress in a size six. So, I'm surprised that I opted for the size 6. I normally opt for a size 8 at the moment. Anyways, this is like a, a bit of a different colour. This one's like a bit more pinky. Um, it is like a rosy, dusty, rosy colour. Um, this feels quite like a thick material. Oh, I didn't realise there was a cutout. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, no. Basically, you know this ruching thing that is like really in at the moment? That everyone seems to be doing? I feel like it's very two years ago. Um, I used to love it. Like I was obsessed with it. When I had my bikini brand, I was like designing bikinis with the ruching on the bum. Um, like this type of ruching on the bum. And how, now that I've just seen everyone doing it, I just don't like it. I'm not going to lie. I just think it's very being there, done that. Um, but it can be cute to like tie up, the, to like make the side of your skirt like a little bit more sexy um but anyways this is what it looks like i didn't realize that it had that i just wouldn't have bought it if it had that because it's just not a bit of me at the moment anyways it has a cut out as well i'm just really confused because i don't remember ordering this um but yeah it feels like it's a really good fabric actually i'm not gonna lie um it's made pretty well and yeah we're gonna try this on and fingers crossed it fits me right i have found this dress particularly hard to get over my body, not even over like my belly. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort out my hair whilst I thought you guys. Not even over my belly, but literally over my boobs. It's such a tight material dress. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm talking to you guys with my hair like this. Sorry. Um literally. Look, that is awful. Um but yeah, this dress is like such a tight, taut material, but I found it quite hard to get over my body. Um, which isn't great. I am going to definitely send this one um, this one back because it's a size 6 and I'm not a size 6 at the moment. Um, but it's a nice design. It is a nice design. I think it's cute. Um, it doesn't look bad on the bump. Like, I feel like the cutout is kind of cute as well. Um, I personally don't enjoy the ruching. It's also a good length. I am going to stand up over there again. Um, in literally one minute. But I just want to show you guys the details. It's in this nice ribbed. And it is, I feel like if I was a size 6, then this is going to be like a really nice quality, good quality dress, especially for the price. Sorry, hiccups again. Um, but also I feel like the colour, like the, the rosy pink, is like a little bit wishy-washy for my skin tone. I don't know, let's stand over in the corner. Okay, so we, can't, we know it's not a bad dress, it's not ugly at all. It's a cute shape, and I feel like a lot of my subscribers might like it. Um, like, this is what I mean with the ruching. You, like, you can ruch it up and then try and, like, a little bow, but I just... It's just not for me anymore, like... Anyways, it's... It's definitely not a bad dress. But, for, personally, for me, the colour of it is not my favourite, and it's too tight on me. It's just a little bit too tight, so this one is going back. I know it's literally like £5, and I could just keep it, but there's no point in me keeping it, so it's going back to the shop. Right, next up, we have... This is called... Bubblegum Pink Open Soft Knit Off The Shoulder Top in a size... In a size... Small. I think I'm going to have to put in a bar with this because it has like holes in it, I think. I think I'm going to have to put a bra on. Yeah, I am. I'm going to have to put a bra on. But this is a really quite cute little... Um, I love pink. I'm not going to lie. I do love pink. I don't wear a lot of pink, but I do love the colour pink. And I feel like 
this is a really nice knit bubblegum pink top to take you into the colder months like when it's like the end of august beginning of september when it's like just getting a little bit chilly and you want to look like a little bit more i don't know it will keep you warm because it's completely knit can you see can you see why do i always i'm like really bad at youtubing clearly because i always put my hand over the lens and set the lens instead of behind it like i don't understand how people do that thing and then it dims the light and just focuses on the item of clothing but i feel like this will be really cute with like shorts i feel like actually right now i'm getting like <laughs> right now i'm getting leg warmers and roller skating vibes that was weird because i was liking it and now i'm thinking oh my god i look gonna look like i'm gonna be wearing leg warmers and roller skates but yeah i feel like this would look cute with shorts denim shorts would look really cute actually i'm gonna have to find some shorts to put on on with this but none of my shorts fit me i'm gonna have to just put on like some pajama shorts or something because my shorts do not fit me and there is no way that i will be fitting into them for this video because the bump um but yeah let's try this on and see if we like it or not can i just say that dress took forever to take off by the way guys i'm not keen on this i think it's horrible um i'm gonna be completely honest i think this is absolutely horrible i think it is because i've got the bra on underneath and you can completely see the bra it just looks awful this is not a nice look um no i absolutely hate this i think it's awful um this is what it looks like closer up if you do like that sort of style just like that it was funny because i got my boobs done and i was like oh, i can't wait to buy those new bras i've had my boobs on for over a year now and i don't wear bras like i don't like wearing them because they just don't look like they ruin outfits obviously they don't all look like this but it's just not a good look i don't like it i'm not happy with it and we're gonna move on thoroughly thoroughly we're gonna move on very quickly because this is just a big fat no for me i'm sorry guys no i wouldn't you wouldn't catch me wearing this out um at all. I, don't like, I don't even like like having just your bra straps on the show like it's just not a vibe right so this is called the oatmeal knitted strappy crop top in extra small i think my camera is actually gonna die soon it was just flashing did i just say that i think i just said that anyways this top is oh this is gonna be way too small um, this is what the top looks like. It's like this. I thought this was going to be a different top. I'm not going to lie. I have like these little crop top things. If you if you're a follower on my horse, then you'd know that I have like these crop top things that I wear all the time. And I thought that this was just the oatmeal version of that, but it's not. It's a completely different, um, completely different top. But this looks like it's going to be really cute. I like these tops just to lounge around in in the house. They are very small, very small. <laughs> they are just very small tops um but i like this color i thought that was really really nice so i'm gonna pop this on and show you guys i'm not even gonna stand up over there with this top because you just don't need to see it like it's that horrible okay honestly this is feeling like not not safe um to wear i feel like if i was to lift my arms up then this could be a bit bad but i would wear this if i was gonna wear this then i would wear this with like a denim jacket maybe some matching denim jeans maybe um, I don't know, I just feel like you can wear this as like a undertop, like, I don't know, like, with like a denim jacket, like, if I wouldn't wear this out on its own, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not one of them tops, like, I would either wear it in the house with my joggers, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, like, this one just isn't that comfortable, like, the ones that I do have that are this sort of shape, they have, like, a little bit of something there which just holds them in place, and I just don't feel like they're gonna fly up, um, but... It looks cute, but I personally wouldn't wear this like, on its own. I would wear this with like a jacket or something. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't feel like I have to stand up in the corners again because obviously it's not like a long length thing. This is what the back looks like. It is like the same length the whole way around, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it is flattering. It is cute. Just do a little close up. But I just don't think that... I think I'm actually yeah, I'm going to send this back because I just feel like it's going to pop off. I think maybe I got the wrong size um okay moving on this is gonna be the last thing that i'm gonna show you guys i might actually just put this on with the top that i'm wearing um it's called the charcoal knitted fold over mini skirt in a size 
small. Basically, I'm excited because once I finish this video, I'm going to make Luke's dinner. I actually really enjoy cooking. It's funny because I'm a vegetarian, but I really enjoy cooking Luke's meals and he always eats meat. But I, I enjoy cooking for him. I think I, that was just so random. Like, why am I saying that? I, I'm clearly, like, loved up because of the flowers that he gave me. But I do enjoy cooking and I'm excited to get straight to cooking as soon as I finish filming this video. Hopefully, my son stays asleep. Um, but this is what the skirt looks like. That was just so random. Um, this is what the skirt looks like. I feel like I'm gonna like this. It's like a sort of fold over skirt. Oh, it's a bit unique, isn't it? I've never actually seen anything like this. Um, that with like, like a long sleeve top, or like if this had a matching top, that would be really nice. Like a matching jumper in the same grey with like fold over over here, or like fold over on the sleeves. That would be really, really nice. Um, and then it has like this little, I don't really understand how that works. Anyways, it's a mini skirt and I think it's, I think it's going to look cute. It has like a tight bit at the bottom, so I assume it will not like fly up or anything. Anyways, let's pop this on. Right, I've just put my top back on with it because I'm not really feeling that, um, that really small top. Um, but this is what it looks like. I am going to stand over there so you guys can see a bit clearer. Don't worry. Just going to do a little closer up. It's got like this fold over bit here. It is a very, very mini skirt. Um, I feel like I forgot that I was pregnant for a few minutes because I don't think it's going to look great when I'm pregnant. Anyways, let's just walk over here to the corner. I've literally got so much wrapping on the floor. Um pop you down on there and I can show you. I feel like it is really really cute but I forgot that I was pregnant. Um but this is what it looks like. It's just a basic mini skirt. I just love the knit. I think that is cute. I feel like maybe maybe if they had done the material like a little bit thicker um then you would be able to see the fold over a little bit more like i feel like the fold over does kind of just blend into the skirt and you can't really see it that clearly um so i feel like maybe if they'd done it in a thicker material then it would look a bit um, i think it would make it look a bit better to be honest yeah um don't know why i was so hesitant to say that um then you could like see the definition between the different the different um don't even know what i'm trying to say anyways that is the end of my video um i hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope that you are much happier with the quality and yeah all of the videos are going to be in this quality from now on going forward and yeah i hope that everyone has a really really lovely day let me know what you're all getting up to because i love chatting to you guys and yeah send me a message um leave me a comment not send me a message sorry don't send me a message <laughs> Leave me a comment, subscribe, like, follow, all of that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.